hi everyone welcome to this video for wp table builder today we are gonna see how we can create a new table with wp table builder after installing the plugin in our wordpress dashboard we can see a new menu item from there we're gonna click on add new which will open the table builder interface so this is the table builder interface so to create a new table we are gonna go with the blank option that will give us the option to choose the number of rows and columns you're gonna have you can see other options here these are pre built templates which are available with the pro add-on these are not available in the free version of the plugin one template is available in the free version of the plugin but we're gonna see how we can create a blank table first so when we click this we get the option to set the number of rows and columns let's say we're gonna take five rows and four columns okay so now after that we're gonna click on generate and this will generate the table for us as you can see we have a table with five rows and four columns and we got some basic uh, we got one basic element to add some text so let's just putting putting some text over here we can do product name and image rating and buy i can make this one. for demo purpose i'm just adding random text instead instead of actual product names you can put anything you like to here then for the image column we will need to use the image element so you're gonna drag that and drop it here and choose our image insert into post then the image will be here okay we don't need the text here so we'll remove that uh, next what you can do is instead of you know dragging dropping in all the cells we can duplicate it and bring it to this cell and then replace the image which I, I which I personally feel like takes less time to do. Same with this. And this column is for rating, so we'll need a star rating in this column. We're gonna put the remove the text. As you can see, for the value of the rating, you don't have to go to the options really just clicking it from here works you can change it from here too but here we didn't do it we can change the alignment we'll keep it centered okay and last the buy column we're gonna put the button okay we'll say buy now you can add the link here you can also mark it sponsored no follow or no refer once you add the link and as for the button we have lots of options that can be changed for now we can, we're gonna just change the color of the button to let's say this okay and we can also change the text color to black yes So here we have another row for a product but I, I'm not gonna add anything here because I want to show you something uh, you see the manage sales options here from here what we can do is we can add new columns add new rows we can also remove so we, we are gonna remove this row when I select this cell and I click on remove row this row is gonna be deleted so as you see this row is deleted we can you can add a column to the left to the right row to, to the top to the bottom and there's all, some options you can see grayed out duplicate column duplicate row again that's available with the, with the pro add on not available in the free version which can be used to duplicate a whole column or a whole row 
so that's the basics of the cell management mode we're gonna close that okay let's do some styling for the table so click on the on top you can see the background option when you click on it you can see some options header background for the header we're gonna make it let's say dark back okay even we have something lighter color or oh, maybe this and make this one it's just to show you how this works okay these options again in the pro add-on okay we'll change this color to white okay mm, for the border we're gonna remove the header inner border okay this looks better in my opinion and now coming to the responsive there are lots of other options that you can use i'm not gonna go into details with all of them uh, now let's do some okay name the product product table the responsive option let's see how it works uh, when you click on the responsive you will see this screen from here you can enable the responsive table as soon as you click it you see so for okay for the ta tablet view we can do this top row is header then row the item spar header 3 this is how it it, it will look on tablets for mobile let's see how it looks for mobile i think this is good we have the top row is header option enabled and items per header one so this is how it will look on mobile phones this is how it will look, look on tablets and finally we have this is how it will look on desktop okay after you have created the table now let's save it once the table is saved we can check the preview of the table how it looks on the front end this is how it's gonna look we can also another thing we're gonna put it in a post or a page for that we're gonna click on embed and that will give us the short code for the table so we'll copy that close it and go to add new post okay table table demo and we're gonna put the short code so it's in the block editor we have integrated something as soon as you put the short code it actually shows you how the table looks but remember it might not look exactly as should on the front end because some of the css or javascript is not loaded in the table in the editor but it should load on the on how the post actually looks the front end okay so this is where the table can be seen as you can see another thing is you can also edit the table right from the Gutenberg editor without leaving the Gutenberg editor I'll show you how that can be done you see edit table option okay we're gonna edit okay let's change something the row height actually the image need to be smaller after you change this you can just changing the height okay after do this you can save and then close the builder you are still in the editor so you don't really have to leave the gutenberg editor when you are editing a table you can also create new one from here you don't have to leave the gutenberg editor that that takes some less time to go through the table creation process and that's it i hope you find the video useful thank you for watching